What's good? It's Kev here with KevWestBeats.com. Today I want to talk about creating the car wall effects with Reason uh, using Pulsar, the new rack extension. Um, I talked about how to do it with Etch in my last video, and I I know how to do it in Reason, but I, and I didn't want to try an Etch Red because like I said, I don't know Etch Red that well. Um, but I didn't want to leave my Reason guys out, so I did another one. I'm uh, doing another one this time with Pulsar. Um, again, I'm going to give you guys a feel for how it's supposed to sound in the end, and then we'll go ahead and we'll build it from scratch. So here's the, here's the patch. Alright, so the um, first thing I'm just going to delete Pulsar just so it starts fresh. This guitar isn't anything special unique. It's from the Sonic Reality Gold series. I have one of the old, old, old ones. I've had these for almost 10 years. Um, anyway, it's just a funky guitar patch for the NN19. I'm using the NNXP. Like, this repo for a reason, 2.5, I believe. That's how old it is. Um, anyway, let's open up Pulsar. And again, it's very similar to what I would have done with the dubstep wobble. Um, the technique is the same. You can actually do the dubstep wobble this way, too. What we're going to do with Pulsar, though, is we're going to take the LFO, um, CV out. We're going to route it to the filter cutoff. We're going to turn up the LFO rate, and you're already going to start to hear the difference. Now, what's cool about this that I haven't figured out how to do etch yet, too, is you can actually turn up, you can actually have a shuffle level. See, so it's 50%. Say I want to turn it up to 60. That's cool. And then we can also turn up the LFO rate. Remember, your speed in your wall is determined by the LFO rate, so. As you see right there, that's a little faster than I want it. I'm going to turn on the tempo sync too, because I want to be on tempo. It's, it, 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 it's that simple. Um, and again, because I did this last video, I like to add a little bit of reverb to my guitars just to um, help the sound. So I, I think it just helps the sound a lot more realistic. I'm just going to turn on just the basic RV7000. It's even that really wet, but you can really hear the difference here. Um, so I mean, that, that, that's, general, that's the general sound there. I'm just going to change the reverb setting just so you can really hear how it should sound in the end. And that's how it really should sound about in the end. So, I hope this helps somebody out. Uh, please thumbs up the video, of course. Um, rate, comment, and subscribe. You can contact me and my social networks in the description below. I will see you guys next time. Check out KevWestBeats.com. Thanks for watching.